my channel in case some of you guys are new here hi my name is Angelina it's so nice to have you here please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below I upload every Wednesdays and Fridays so as you can tell from the title today I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my pictures for Instagram okay so two apps that I'm going to be using is Lightroom and quick shop first I'm going to show you guys two pictures that I'm going to be editing and one is more like a close-up shot and then the second one is more of like a full body shot so I'm going to edit a picture that I already have edited in the past this is the original picture that I took and so if you go into the option sky it's the third button on the bottom row go into sky and you can start playing around with the skies and see which one you want to add honestly you don't have to do this step but if you want to like amp up your pictures then i'll definitely go for that route for this picture i'm going to go in with the sn05 and then i'm going to feather it up as you can tell that it just kind of like brightens up the bottom part of the sky i'm just going to amp it up to like maybe a 26 and then a horizon as you can tell, it just like brightens up even more. I'm just going to brighten it up to like maybe 23. And then that's about it. So for magic, you can either have like a blue tint or like a yellow warmer tint. But I like to just go in between and then go up to the top right button and then save your picture. And then I like to move on to Lightroom. Upload my image on there press the check mark and go back in. So for the light button on the bottom row, I like to put my exposure at 0.15 and exposure is just to brighten up your pictures. Contrast, I'm going to do plus four and then highlight is plus 14, plus 14 and then the shadow is negative 15. And then for white, I like to go in for plus 13. And then black is plus 11. So as you can tell, my picture has gotten a lot brighter. In my opinion, I like my picture to be bright. And so that is the before right here. And this is the after. So now moving on to color, I like to change the temperature to a plus 6. As you can tell, it's like a lot more yellow, and then if you decrease it, it's a lot more blue. So I like to add that little warmth into the picture. And then for tint, I like to go in for plus 12. This is where I really like to amp up my picture. So uh, tint is 12, and then vibrance is also 12. Vibrance is just to bring out the colors more from your photo. And then for saturation, I just like to leave it alone because it makes your skin like really pink or orange, pale but I'm just gonna leave it at zero. And then go back to the top and then press the button mix. And then for the color red, I like to go in for the hue as a plus five. And for the red shade, it's basically is going to target like your blush, your lipstick, and anything red in the photo. So I definitely want to change like my lip color and like my blush color. So my saturation, I'm going to go in with a plus 10. And the luminance is a plus 10 as well. So we're going to go to the before and then after. So that's how the picture looks like. And then for orange, we are going to go in for a plus 4 for the hue. Saturation, a plus 3. Oops. A plus 3. And then luminance is a plus 7. So the color orange is going to target anything orange in your picture and is going to definitely target your skin tone. So you can use the orange button to sort of like give you like a fake tan or tone down your skin color to more like a lighter pale tone. It's up to you basically. And then for the yellow, it's definitely going to target the yellows and it's going to target for example like if you want like a certain object to be more white or like yeah basically to be more white then yellow is your go-to as for me i love using yellow so 
the numbers are definitely going to be a lot higher so for the hue i like to go in for a negative 35 and then uh for the saturation i like to go in for a negative 47 and then for the luminance i like to go in for a plus 22. So as you can tell, like the color of my shirt, my Lakers shirt definitely has like toned down a bit. So that was the shirt before and then now this is the after. So moving on, I don't do anything with the green, the teal, but I'm going to change the indigo shade to a, 30, a negative 39 for the hue. As you can tell, it changes the sky and the color of my jeans. And that's how you get like that really beautiful like teal blue shade. So negative 39. And then a negative 27 for the saturation. And then a plus one for the luminance. Oops. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys the before and then the after. So that's the after. And then for the purple button, I like to go in for a plus 57. And then a negative 30 for the saturation. And then a plus 11 for the luminance. And then for the pink button, I like to go in for a negative 46 for the hue. And then a plus 29 for the saturation and then a negative 31 for the luminance. And then once you get done with the color mix, you want to press done and then go back to the bottom and press the effect button. And for the texture, I like to go in for a plus 17. And then for clarity, I like to go in for a plus three. And then going down to details, you want to sharpen up your picture to a 16. Oops. A 16 and then the noise reduction is just basically to smooth your skin. So I don't really like to smooth my skin. I like to have some sort of texture. So I like to go in for a 10. And then for the details, I like to go in for a 60. I feel like that button doesn't do anything, but I just like to do it. And then for the color noise reduction, I like to go in for it and 11 and so yeah that's basically how I edit this picture or like close-up shots so again this is the before and then that is the after and if you want to save it you can go ahead to the top right button and export your picture save to camera maximum available Okay, so now moving on to the full body picture. I'm first going to start with Lightroom first. To change the exposure to a plus 0.33. Okay, and then for the contrast is a negative 14. And the highlight is a plus 6. And then the shadow is a plus 3. And then um, the white is a negative 29. And then the black is a plus 12. So this is the before, this is the after. So I realized in this picture that my face was a little bit darker, like my hair was covering, there was like a lot of shadow going on. So as you can tell, this is a before, so there was like a lot of darkness on my face. So I wanted to brighten up so you can see my face well. So that's why the black is there for to like brighten up like the areas that you want to brighten up. <laughs> I'm sorry, that made no sense, but you get what I'm saying. So I'm gonna change that back to a 12. And then going to the color, going to change the temperature to a plus five. And then a, the tint to a plus four. And then the vibrance to a plus 10. And then I'm not going to touch the saturation. I'm going to go into the color wheel and then change the red, the hue, to, hue sorry, to the negative 25. And then the red to a plus 17. Oh, the saturation to a plus 17, I'm sorry. And then um, the luminance to a plus 10. And then the orange, I'm going with a plus 5 for the hue. 
and then a plus 2 for the saturation, a plus 10. And then for the yellow, I'm not doing anything with that. I'm going to skip the yellow and I'm going to go in with the green and do a plus 48. Uh, plus 28 for uh, saturation. And then a plus 19 for the luminance. And then for the blue, I'm going in with the negative 56. Oops. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> negative 56. And then um, for the saturation, I'm going with the negative 60. And then for um, the luminance, I'm going to go in with the plus 14. So I'm going to show you guys the before and the after. And then so for the indigo shade, I'm going to go in with a negative 31 and a negative 25 for the saturation and then a plus 10 for the luminance. And then um, that's basically it for the color wheel and I'm going to press done. I'm going to go into effects and then ch change the texture to a plus 9 and then clarity to a plus 5. Going to details, I'm going to sharpen up my picture to a 17. And then the noise reduction to a 10. And then details to 60 again. And then the color noise reduction to a 5. So that is all that we're going to do for Lightroom. And then now we're going to save the picture. To the maximum available and then afterwards we're going to go back into quick shot and upload our picture right there right here and then we're going to leave the sky how it is because i love how the clouds look and then we'll go into the magic button and did you see that difference did you see how professional it just made the picture look i don't know if you guys can tell but it kind of just tore down toned down the yellow which i really like and so, yeah, we're just going to leave it like that. Press more and then save your image and you're good to go. So that is how I edit my pictures. I know it's like a lot of steps and all that. So that is all that I have for you all today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of me, then subscribe down below. Again, I upload every Wednesdays and Fridays. So be on the lookout for my videos. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Just to make it filthy Under the sheet